A raging fire tore through three residential buildings in Philadelphia's Somerton neighborhood. Alexandria Hoff is in Somerton with more on what made this fire so difficult to control. Alex? Well, Yuki, we do want to say that one firefighter was injured in this. They were treated on scene and then transported to the hospital in stable condition. But as you said, there are several different factors that made this fire so difficult to fight. It was the heat and believe it or not, the location. Oh man, what is going on? Then I'm looking. I said, Damn, this is not good. It was almost 3:30 p.m. when Joe Mallon took notice of the sky. Boom! Black smoke's up again. Then all of a sudden, I'm sitting in that chair and I'm watching flames that I could say higher over that building. He had been sitting outside of his home on Beverly Drive and quickly saw it fill up with over 150 Philadelphia firefighters. I do know that there are, there's probably going to be uh, somewhere around 20 or more folks who are displaced by this fire. Just off the same road on Beverly Drive, firefighters battled flames that had taken hold of three buildings, each containing four units. An Eyewitness News viewer provided us with this early perspective. Fire officials say wind and heat played a role in the fire's ability to bridge between the buildings. They are investigating if utility lines may have been a factor as well. We were able to stop this fire and essentially kept it from running through this entire row of buildings. While the heat may have aided the three alarm fires intensity, it made conditions even worse for those who were fighting it. Really a four alarm equivalent fire because of the heat. Because of an interior collapse, fire crews were forced to commit to an exterior attack. Drinking water and cooling areas were a necessity. They're hot and they're tired, but uh, we became firefighters and paramedics, so that's what we signed up to do. All right, so let's talk about this location for a moment. This is a residential area, but the homes affected actually back up to this grassy area by a railroad track. It's not easily accessible by fire units. They were able to get one back there, but it really wasn't easy. And Commissioner Teal actually said it reminded him of fighting wildlife fires out west. As for a cause, one has not yet been determined. Reporting live in the Summerton section of the city, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you for that, Alex.